the citizens of Hampton, the county of Henry, the Metro Atlanta area, and the entire state of Georgia can breathe a little easy. Tonight, the monster is dead. Tonight, the suspect in a Hampton mass shooting is dead, killed in a gunfire battle with law enforcement. The mourning for the victims, now identified, begins. In Hampton, the investigation into the murder of four people underway. Why did a gunman open fire on a quiet residential street? The search for the suspect was intense. It stretched into the overnight hours, and it ended today with death and injury. Late this afternoon, the trail picked up for the suspect, Andre Longmore. Authorities were able to zero in on a home along Wagon Wheel Court in Jonesboro. That's when they closed in. They found themselves in a shootout. When it ended, Longmore was dead and three law enforcement personnel were hurt. Meanwhile, we've learned more about the four people who were gunned down, all in their 60s, and lived in a subdivision in Hampton. We have team coverage for you now. 11 Alive's Teresa Bowles has information on the victims and the reaction in Hampton. But we begin with Molly Oak at the scene in Jonesboro, where this all ended. Yeah, this is where it all went down, at a home right down the street behind me. We talked with neighbors and people who were at that house when the shootout ended. In a Clayton County neighborhood, two friends planned to start their Sunday with a backyard barbecue. We opened up the backyard, the door to put the coal into the grill and stuff. A naked guy with a gun came jumping off the cliff, so let us in the house, let me in the house and stuff. Corey Cloud was staying at his friend Justin's place off Wagon Wheel Court. He was just like, I'm a good person. Can you please let me in? Corey says he immediately shut the door while Justin went to find police to tell them there was a man with a gun crouched down by their back door. The police charged in there and we hear all these gunshots. Justin says he heard the shots from outside his home. Jimmy Jones says he heard them from his house one street over. I heard at least a good nine shots go off. Corey says he heard the shots too. All you hear is his bullets. <laughs> because he says he was inside the house when it happened. Right in front of me. I was trying to squeeze behind the sofa. Corey and Justin say they had no idea who the man was when they got police. After they learned that man was Andre Longmore, the suspect in Saturday's shooting that left four people dead in Hampton and injured two officers and a deputy in the shootout. At that point, I was just happy that he didn't shoot first. Right. Like, we didn't like, like he jumped down. Oh, we were just standing there chilling. He could have shot all three of us yeah. right then and there. Tonight, Corey's thankful they're alive. Two officers and a deputy were taken to a hospital. Henry County Sheriff's Office tells me that they're all expected to be okay.